What are the other such lessons that uh, one can take away from this, uh, Mr. Karnik, which we can all in some ways apply in our own lives as we pursue our various objectives? I, I think two other things which are critical. One is the clear you know, definition of the mission. And ISRO has you know, always been a mission-oriented organization, as, as we like to fashion ourselves. We think you have a very clearly defined goal and you're getting to that. So you know what your goal is. It's not some woolly, fuzzy, vague thing. It's very clear. And the second is to set up dedicated teams with clear timelines, budgets, responsibilities, and accountability. And this is part of the internal structuring I talked of, which, as I said, can be carried across sectors. If you define a clear goal, set up a leader and a team, and leadership, and Shankar mentioned this, is very important, you set that up, and then give them the resources that you think they need and that are fair, and hold them accountable with transparency and leave them free to deliver. We have the largest coastline, we are blessed to be a peninsula, but our fishermen can be better informed. There is a pilot project in Gujarat where the satellite imaging provides the fishermen exact or approximate location of schools of fish. And this is a service you can launch all over India. At the very least, we can end the problem of fishermen being caught by Sri Lankan Navy naval forces or Pakistani uh, forces, so we, we can offer. And there are many such instances in which uh, I think India can succeed.